Lanethia Johnson, now known as Nene Leakes, married Greg Leakes in 1997. The couple and their children from previous relationships welcomed a new addition to the family, a baby boy named Brent, who was born in 1999. Nene joined the Real Housewives of Atlanta in 2008. Three years later, she and Greg got divorced, but they reconciled, got remarried in 2013, and recorded their nuptials for the world to see on their Bravo TV spinoff series. Sadly, Greg was diagnosed with stage 3 colon cancer in 2018, and Nene told Us Weekly, I never knew that cancer could come into our lives and change it the way that it has. It's been really hard for me. The cancer went into remission after treatment, but in June 2021, Nini shared the cancer had returned and her husband had undergone surgery. Greg succumbed to his lengthy battle on September 1, 2021, and within a few weeks, we spotted Nini getting her thirst on in the comments section of a new man's Instagram account. In this video, we'll discuss why Nene moved on so quickly, based on her own words, with a little bit of research and statistics thrown into the mix. Before we get started, don't forget to grab something to eat at rrgsnacks.com, our online concession stand that has an assortment of mango habanero beef jerky, banana pudding popcorn, and green apple licorice. Following Greg's September 1st passing, Nene hopped on Instagram and told her supporters she was pushing through, although her emotions were very up and down. When asked if she was ready to date, Nene revealed she had received several DMs from available men, but she added, I'm just over here doing me right now. But hey, I love reading the messages. They are inspiring, to say the least. Nene, her family, close friends, and various reality TV stars honored Greg at his September 8th Celebration of Life, which took place at Nene's Lanethia Lounge in Duluth, Georgia. About a month later was when RRG spotted Nene leaving heart eye emojis in the comment section of a silver fox. He has since been identified as Liberian-born fashion designer Nionisola Nioni Co. Sr. So who is Nioni? According to our research, he's based out of Charlotte, North Carolina, and will celebrate his 52nd birthday in December 2022. In November 2016, he married a woman named Malamine Patience Tama, according to Mecklenburg County Public Records obtained by RRG. He fathered two children prior to meeting Melamine, and together they share a son named Nioni Jr. During a July 2020 interview with Daily Guide Network, Nioni described himself as being, quote, happily married for years. He and Melamine purchased a home together in Harrisburg, North Carolina in 2017, and together they own multiple businesses, including Mallow Transport LLC, and Melamine is also the vice president of Nioni's fashion brand, Nioni Couture. Speaking of his fashion brand, the North Carolina storefront ties this whole story together. Nioni has been lacing Peter Thomas, the ex-husband of Nene's former Real Housewives co-star, Cynthia Bailey, with clothing from his brand for years. Peter and Nene still have a close relationship, and sources report it was Peter who introduced Nene to Nioni. Although Nene was publicly expressing her interest in Nioni on his Instagram as far back as October 2021, they didn't go public public until December of that year. According to our friends over at Access Online, Nene and Nioni became official a few days before her 53rd birthday in December 2021. A week later, they were spotted holding hands while leaving a Miami Beach restaurant. A source told People Magazine that Nene couldn't stop smiling around her new man. The insider added, She's almost like a teenager with him, just light and giggly and feeling those new relationship butterflies. As for Nioni, the source said he treats Nene like a queen and is always showering her with compliments and putting her needs first. And what about Nioni's wife? We're unable to confirm whether they're legally divorced as of this video. And sources report Malamine deleted her social media accounts following reports of Nini and Nioni's relationship. The fact that the public uncovered Nioni's wife was just one source of outrage. Some people were also upset that Nini had moved on so quickly after 20-plus years of marriage and following Greg's passing. 
During a December 2021 chat with The Shade Room, Nene said she and Greg had a very tearful conversation before he made his transition. Nene said, his words to me were, be happy, keep smiling, and he who finds you has found a good one. Just because Nene has a new man in her life doesn't diminish how much she still loves Greg, and her situation isn't that uncommon. Before we get into the facts, please keep in mind that the word widower refers to a man whose spouse has passed away, and the term widow is the correct term when describing a woman who has lost her spouse. Okay, now that we've got that out of the way, let's continue. In a 2006 article by the New York Times, the publication explored the topic of how quickly widows and widowers move on, and in particular, the differences between grieving men and women. The newspaper concluded the following, When there is a death in a marriage, women mourn, men replace. And why is that? Well, according to the widowers interviewed by the Times, many of them remarried in a short amount of time because they needed help around the house. One man told the newspaper he was overwhelmed with the cooking, shopping, and trying to find things around his home. He went on a date with the first woman his friends introduced him to and married her two years later. Other widowers admitted they got married so they could replicate the love they felt for their deceased partner. Dog the Bounty Hunter famously proclaimed he would never remarry after losing his wife of 13 years, Beth Chapman, in June 2019 from throat cancer. But 15 months after Beth's passing, he tied the knot with a woman named Francie Frayne. In another study conducted by the San Diego Widowhood Project and published by the National Library of Medicine, by 25 months after their spouse's passing, 61% of men in the study were either remarried or involved in a new romance, as opposed to only 19% of women. Why is it that women take longer to remarry? Well, based on the research, women express more negative feelings about forming romantic relationships after losing a spouse. Just look at Terry Irwin, for example, the wife of the late Steve Irwin, also known as the Crocodile Hunter. Steve passed away in 2006 at the age of 44 after he was stung in the chest by a stingray barb. In a 2021 interview with the Courier Mail, the mother of two said that even 15 years after Steve's passing, he was it for her. And she will never embark on a new romance because her late husband gave her, quote, enough love to last a lifetime. David Bowie's widow, supermodel Iman, told People magazine that when their daughter questioned whether she would ever remarry following David's 2016 passing from liver cancer, Iman simply answered, No, I will not. I still feel married. So although Nini, jumping back into the dating world in the blink of an eye, isn't unheard of, she's among a small percentage of women who move on quickly after losing a spouse. These days, Nini appears to be taking all of the necessary steps to continue honoring her late husband, all while opening up a new chapter in her life. She purchased an Atlanta condo for $1.8 million in January 2022, and weeks later, she sold the home she shared with Greg for $2.6 million. In January 2022, a source told People magazine Nene was definitely open to getting remarried, and the insider added that she and Naomi were very much in love with each other. Losing a life partner is devastating, so showing compassion toward Nene is the right thing to do. We're happy she's surrounded by her friends and Naomi as they help her through the grieving process. Looking at her most recent pictures, you can't help but notice the big, beautiful smile on her face. How blessed is she to have found love twice in one lifetime. <laughs>